Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to another episode of GCP This Month. I'm Julian Pittis and I'll be your host bringing you the latest announcements this month on the Google Cloud Platform. In this episode, we'll cover off the GCP Quick Bytes with updates on Zinc and some AI platform announcements. We'll then go into some of the bigger announcements with our GCP Gem segment and we'll finish off with GCP Guru of the Month. Now there haven't been many announcements in the Quick Bytes section, but we still have two great announcements. The cloud rendering platform Zinc has had a complete rewrite. The new version has faster job startup times, increased compute scalability, and allows customers to utilize the multitude of GPU offerings and CPU rendering cores. GCP have also released a number of features to their AI platform, including new notebooks and VM images, as well as some minor updates to their existing libraries. The new Apigee extensions let you manage APIs through the Google Cloud Platform services. Previously with Apigee, you had to configure your own policies and manage the API proxy setup. If you wanted to connect with your Apigee API to your Google Cloud services, you had to set up tokens, use service callouts, and other predefined policies. The process was quite error prone and it wasn't very developer friendly. With this new release, you'll now be provided with an interface and you get to select the GCP service that you want to integrate with. The API platform will then create the policy for you. Now the extensions don't stop there. Google have also added Salesforce extensions to Apigee. This allows the developers to use their company's Salesforce data when creating APIs, instead of interfacing with the Salesforce REST API manually. The Google Cloud Engine is now certified for Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8, or RHEL in short. RHEL is a super safe, consistent distro of Linux that's built for enterprise deployments. With the RHEL 8 image, Google customers can deliver secure workloads through the Google Cloud Platform by minimizing the attack surface and only deploying the packages that are needed for your workload. With this new announcement, Google Cloud and Red Hat are deepening their partnerships to further enterprise-grade innovation for their customers. Now we know that there's a huge buzz around machine learning and we all know that machine learning applications require a lot of resources. And the limiting factor is usually the amount of compute and the required associated costs. Google have created their own custom silicon chips called Tensor Processing Units or TPUs allowing their users to complete their workloads in minutes or hours instead of days or weeks. Google have now publicly released the pods containing the TPU chips to help ML research engineers and data scientists iterate faster on their machine learning models. The aim of TPUs is to train deep learning models faster and at a fraction of the cost that's currently available. The TPUs should be used when you need shorter time to gain insight, achieve higher accuracy, or if you want to prototype rapidly. So how does it do this, you ask? Well, each TPU pod can include more than a thousand TPU chips, which are connected by a 2D to radial mesh network. The TPU software stack uses the mesh and a variety of highly flexible high-level APIs to create a single giant supercomputer combining racks of similar machines. Now there are two versions available for use. There's TPU version two pods and TPU version three pods. The TPU version three pods are liquid cooled and they can deliver more than hundred petaflops of computing power. Now GCP also offers you slices of their TPU pods for smaller workloads. So this gives you a fraction of the compute power, but it makes it easy to scale up when you need it. With the end of all the great announcements, let's move on to my favorite section of the show, Guru of the Month. Now this month's winner is Amir Hohaj, and I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but Amir is a cloud service engineer from the Netherlands. Congratulations Amir, we'll be sending you a care package containing a t-shirt, some stickers and a hand signed card. For all you other gurus out there who want a special prize package, try your luck by answering our question which can be found on our Facebook page at this link. That's all we have for this month's Google Cloud Platform releases. I'm Julian Pittis and I'll see you next time on GCP This Month. Keep being awesome Cloud Gurus.